Good afternoon. This is Wendy Hill Kennel, and we're back with Sophie's kids. These three little pixies are doing so good. Um, they are the two bigger ones. The two Merles are doing really good. This one is she's just tiny because of her mom. Um, we may not let her go home quite as early, and we may not wean them as early as we normally would. We'll just have to wait and see how they do with food because um, I don't want them to be hypoglycemic. So we want to make sure we give them extra time, no rush them. I don't want to rush them out the door. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you microchip numbers. I'm going to give you um, weights. We just uh, gave them a face trim hygiene clip. And then when we're done with this, we're going to give them a bath. I'm going to shoot pictures, and then you'll have new pictures of these guys on the website also. Um, we did just rechip one of them because one of them apparently the chip uh, worked its way out. Sometimes before the hole heels shut, it does come out. So we'll do that puppy last because we're going to change the number on you. Okay, this one is microchip number 6532. This little phantom Merle is so cute. He looks like a little hedgehog. Look how much hair they've got. They just have so much coat on them. They're really, 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 really cute. Look like little, little tiny hedgehogs. Um, let me give you a weight on him. One pound, one point two. Well, what's it going to decide on? It's about one pound, one ounce, and it keeps going up, but he's moving around a lot. It's not going to stop. So we're about one pound one, one pound two, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, he looks bigger than he really is because this is just all hair. I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be a good inch, maybe an inch and a quarter long. But he's so cute. All right. So the next one, next little victim. This is the female, and she is really tiny, sixty-five twenty-six, and. She will look so different when she gets her bath. I'm, I'm anxious to give them a bath and see how their hair is doing. Uh, they all have just really super, super thick coats. And they're just doing really, really great. I will bet you a dollar she's not even a pound. But we'll see. Oh, if I shut it off. That was really good. Uh, they are starting to nibble on some starter mousse. We started them on some uh, canned Royal Canine starter. And I told you. 14.6 ounces today. So you have a really good chance to stay in toy size, don't you? She's really tiny. All right, so the last male in here is the one we changed the microchip number on. I just did it. Um, he's still wet from the alcohol where I put the chip in. So his new chip number is 65, I'm sorry, 6358. I'm dyslexic. Uh, 7E1027-6358. I will put the new number under his photo uh, but the other number it just disappeared so it had to have come out at some point so he's got a new number uh, I love the red rusty beard and the red rusty eyebrows that are coming he's gonna look like he's gonna be a try I would like to see him get that red rusty he's getting it on his legs and he's got the red rusty chest he's a cute baby and he's little uh, I bet he's about a pound maybe no, he's the same with his brother one pound, 2.8, as a, and it's staying solid for him. So he's one pound, 2.8. So the boys are almost exactly the same, even though they don't look it. This one's got a bigger head. Um, you can really see the difference in these guys. Let me turn them around. You can see the width of the skull. And a lot of that's hair, but this guy's just built broad, and just he just looks like a little huh, hedgehog. So they're really not doing much yet. Mom is still very much babying them. Uh, she stays with them the whole time. And uh, this one's going, I don't know where I'm at. I'm scared to death. She's using, this isn't cold. This is nerves because uh, we brought them up here away from mom. Strange noises, new place, uh, totally strange. It's good for them to uh, get a change a little bit and makes their brain work a little differently. Oh, he's growling. Are you growling? It's okay. It's okay. He says, oh good, you're somebody's there. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. So just kind of a heads up. These guys may not go home at eight weeks old. Uh, I may not wean them at six, six weeks old. I don't think I will for sure. 
we'll probably leave them with her till they're about seven to eight weeks old. And uh, but I just want to make sure that weight's up there between between two and two and a half pounds before they go home. Uh, especially with toys, um, if these do stay toy size, I want to make sure that uh, you don't have an issue on your end when they go home. And what we'll do is we will give you a copy of our feeding schedule. Uh, these will go home on a real tiny bite dog food probably. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how big they get by that point. But as of right now, they're all doing super, super good. They're just as cute as a button. Aren't ya? Are you guys cute as a button? She's oh, I'm tired. Are you tired? Or are you just you're just looking up? So um, nothing new right now. But as soon as um, we give them a bath, we'll get some new pictures taken, and then next week we'll do a new video again and new photos. So you should see them change from here on in, especially after the bath. The bath changes their whole thinking. So we always like to give them a bath because it kind of changes and makes them more outgoing. She says, I'm just really nervous in here. The other two are kind of like hanging out and don't care. This one's having an issue. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a great turkey day. Um, if you have any questions and if you're looking at this on YouTube, these three puppies are sold. So um, have a great day and we'll have some more for you next week. Talk to you later.